Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Val Ramos and today's DJ tutorial in the Rekordbox DJ software, I'm gonna show you how to program samples within Rekordbox DJ software, which will then allow you to play these samples live on pieces of DJ equipment such as the DJ 1000 or the DJ FLX 10. So we're gonna go into Rekordbox DJ software, we're gonna drop in samples into the Rekordbox DJ sampler, and then I'm gonna show you how to program these samples with the appropriate gain and or settings within the sample boxes and then how you can actually use these samples during your DJ sets. Yo, what's up everyone and welcome to my tutorial on the Rekordbox DJ software sampler. So what you have before you is a display screen of the Rekordbox DJ software. And in order to activate the sampler mode, you need to go up here at the top of Rekordbox DJ software and check this sampler button. And then you're gonna see all the samples that are displayed in front of you. And you have various banks so you can put these rectangles to display more sections of the sampler bank. Now I've already programmed samples that work for me. For example, I have press this edit button and then you can adjust the gain, adjust the replay settings on these samples. But in order to hear the sample, I'll just press it once. That's the horn, the siren, the noise effect. I have my own DJ drop. Now I can edit this sample by adjusting this gain right here. So let's. Gain. You can see it's a bit louder now. You can also adjust the BPM on these samples. So if I go to these EDM drums right here and type in BPM that you like to change the sample to, so I'll adjust this to. 100 or 110 or 120, maybe match a house track or a slower tempo EDM track you can do so. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to program one sample and then how to use that sample to enhance your DJ sets. So I'm going to eject this sample right here and I already have it on my computer, but you need to have your samples stowed or stored on a folder or within a folder on your computer, MacBook, PC. So let me eject this. So now the sample's ejected, so there's no sample now. Now we're going to load a sample. Do so, I already have the sample right here. I'm going to simply drag and drop here. And now I have the sample. And we can adjust the gain. Quieter. I like to have it fairly loud because you can always turn down the volume on your actual EJ1000, EJ FLX10 hardware. I'd rather have this one fully up and then adjust the, the physical knob on my actual EJX. And then you can also loop this sample. So if we loop this sample, then this sample will simply play And then you notice I just unchecked that sync button right there. So we unchecked the sync button because it was synced, beat sync to 140 BPM. So if you have press sync, now it's at 140 BPM. I, I know that because I, I'm attuned with my ears, but this track right here is 140 BPM. This is the Valoramas, the Safety Word Crowns, Pulls and Blades remix. And that, the sample is being mapped, the sync button match that tempo. But we're gonna turn this off, so it's at 128. And now we're gonna turn off this. Okay, so now how do you make use of these samples to enhance your DJ set? So let's say you have a section of your track. We're gonna play my remix right here. This is Valoramos, the safety word crowns the Valoramos festival mix. I'm gonna play a section where there are snare drums, but there's not heavy drums. So it's gonna be a little bit ethereal. Actually, we'll play a different section. We'll play, play this section right here. So I'm gonna play this track and you're gonna hear what it sounds like without drum elements. If we time this correctly, we can add these samples to enhance our set. So if you're missing drums on tracks in your set or, or, 
where you think that without drums, it's going to decrease the energy of your set, and that's not your intended effect at that moment in time. You can at, use these samples to enhance your DJ set to carry the energy in between long break sections, either during tracks or between tracks. So if I have this track and I'm a little nervous that it's going to deflate the energy in the dance floor, I can add samples to the use of drums into my sets. Now you can see the samples that I have loaded are at various BPMs, that way I can grab at one of these samples. And you notice they're also inserted or programmed in the same exact drum pad, so or sampler pad. So you have this trap drums at 75 or 150 BPM, and then you have pop drums at 90, then hip hop drums at 100, then EDM drums at 128. You can see the tempo is increasing from left to right. So logically in my head, that's what makes sense. So if I have this section right here, we're going to time the sample to add energy into the actual DJ mix. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so as you can see there, I just used a sample to enhance the energy of the DJ set because I was afraid or nervous maybe at this portion of my DJ set that the energy in the dance floor will be deflated. Now, same thing with the samples on the top row of the left and the right banks. I have horn, siren, noise, and then my DJ drops. I can use these samples to also enhance energy my DJ set. So if I have a break section, let's say we're coming up to the break of this track, I can add in a horn or siren effect to carry the energy on the dance floor. So watch this. So as you see there, I added horns right as the track transitioned to the first beat of that first verse, and there was no vocals. It was very minimal music at that point, so I wanted to carry some energy. You could also make an announcement on the microphone. And then as soon as the vocalists entered the mix, I added that noise effect to sweep down. Now, I could have done this in reverse, but I thought the horn would distract the listener from the vocals. But you could use the noise at any kind of break section to enhance that break. Because sometimes the producer does not have a, an exaggerated noise or downshifter or impact effect and you can use noise effects or other DJ effects to enhance that transition. And as a DJ, it is your job to enhance these transitions and then optimize and enhance overall sonic effects within your DJ mix. Okay, so now from here, you have these samples. When you use your USB cord to connect your DJ 1000 or DJ FLX 10 to your Rekordbox DJ software, these will be on the pad effects. So on the DDJ-1000 and the FLX-10, you have those eight pad effects at the bottom of your actual hardware. Now these are programmed to your pad effects, or excuse me, these are programmed to your sampler on the pad. So when you press the sampler button, then these are the eight samples that will appear on the left bank and the right bank. So I would encourage you to use these samples, use these sample banks because they can enhance your DJ sets and most DJs do not utilize these sample banks because it, it's a bit more complex and you're starting to delve into the realm of, as a producer. You're adding in live elements or different elements into your DJ set that are not originally produced in the track. But I think this can help set you apart and then simply add special effects to your DJ sets to make your sets more exciting. So you have it, that is my tutorial on the programming of samples within Rekordbox DJ software to enhance your sets on the DJ 1000 or DJ FLX 10 or other pieces of Pine or DJ kit. If you have any other questions, comments, tips, or concerns, please leave those in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.